Roberts rise and away they go a stampede of uh, fantastic GT cars into the lead of the race Gordon Shedden building on the foundations that Chris Ward laid down victory taken there by Gordon Shedden yep first uh, BTCC victor in uh, this race brilliant drive uh, great opener from uh, Chris Ward Historic racing has been a, a relatively new thing for me. I think if you'd have asked me six or seven years ago would I want to drive historic cars, the answer would be definitely no. But coming to Goodwood Revival and seeing everything that goes on, seeing some amazing cars, it's really kind of got that spark, uh, you know, kind of flying. The E-Type's just fantastic. I mean, it's an absolute icon of a car. It's quick, it's properly quick, but just lovely to drive, even down to the, the beautiful touches in our car that's still got the wooden steering wheel. Gordon and I wouldn't have been able to achieve our win last year without a great car. And we're very lucky at JD Classics that we have a passionate, talented uh, team of engineers that work on the cars continuously. Chris is just the ultimate pro, he's perfect, he knows these historic cars inside out. What a great opportunity again to drive with Gordon uh, and build on the success that we had um, in the Revival 2015. Uh, Gordon is obviously a fantastic touring car driver but he's also got a, a lot of uh, historic experience too. And everything just works, we get on well, even in terms of kind of size of our frame, you know, for the driver changes and things, it's fantastic. Any racing driver who goes onto the starting grid and doesn't have their stomach, you know, in knots with the adrenaline, I think that's probably a time to give up. For me, it's about continuing to analyse my qualifying performance, thinking about the conditions, and gradually trying to relax. The heart starts to beat, the adrenaline starts to flow, and then it's just a question of thinking of the race ahead. down the inside taking the advantage was the Jaguar of Chris Ward that was very very spectacular but out front can anyone do anything at all about our race leader Chris Ward streaking clear and look at that shot that is poetry in motion the blue sky above Goodwood these amazing cars in this Royal Automobile Club TT celebration this is GT racing at its very very best it's just superb but here's the oh. lead car sliding magnificently out of the decay there Chris Ward uh, as he knocks his 10 laps. I've been keeping an eye on his lap times. Every single one has been in the 126s and nobody else can consistently do that. Not only a quick lap, it's consistently with a few, within a few tenths of a second. Remarkable, he's so on top of that and car. And of course that's what all great drivers do. They uh, eliminate all the variables till that uh, focal point is uh, adhered to time after time after time. And he comes oh. in, comes in. One, number one, so very well indeed. Quick pit stop done. The race leader back out into the race. Of course, he's no longer the leader. If Gordon can get back on it again, then um, it's all going very, it's almost too smooth, isn't it? The TT wins aren't this easy. Oh, and the safety car. That really separates those that did it just beforehand. Gordon Shedden trying to pick his way past those cars ahead of him, and he's right on the tail of the Aston Martin there. Number two, AC Cobra, Kido van der Hado, giving 
Chase. Yes, Gordon Chen's going to have to earn this one, isn't he? Despite all of Chris Ward's efforts, he's going to have to fight that Cobra off. And Jaguar E Type 89 still ahead of two, but by a much bigger margin this time. And it looks as though, however hard he tries, that Gordon Chen has the answers. And Gordon Chen's gone off. He's gone off at Woodcut and into the lead goes Brandegard in the number two Cobra. Now he's going to have to do the chasing. You can see Gordon Chen clouted the curve at the first part of St. Mary's, went sideways. Shedden nailing the Jaguar to the back of the Cobra. This duo will be first and second. I think the question is, who will be ahead? Bouncing again over the curves, the entrance to Mary, trying to get the inside, and oh, so close to touching him, going sideways. This is where number 89, Gordon Chen, every lap is trying a different angle to overtake our race leader, Guido van der Garde. Chris Ward trying to look calm. Right, Gordon Chen, your work is cut out. You're just 1.4 seconds down. Well, what a treat. Here we are, the final four minutes of the race. An enthralling battle for the lead. Oh, and he's, this run, is the wide. he's run wide, and there's a change, I think. Are they going to touch? Yes, they have. And very sideways, will he hit the tyres? Oh, he stayed clear of the greenery just, but that's our race lead. Has changed again. When Gordon Shedden gets through the chicane and accelerates, you'll see the chequered flag unfurled for him for this victory in the Royal Automobile Club TT celebration. And in the pits, there'll be a whoop and a punch of the air from Chris Ward as they take victory. There we go, the chequered flag for the second year running for the 89 car, Ward and Shedden. What? Good stint by you, as expected. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I made a much better start than I did last year. Um, got into the, uh, the first corner in the lead and then just managed to maintain that and just uh, kept creeping the gap just to hopefully give uh, Gordon the lead when we came into the pits. Flash, that was uh, a monumental battle. Yeah, it was all happening. You know, he takes slipping and sliding about all over the place and uh, you know, we'd have got exactly the same in the Cobra. I don't think we're hardly in a straight line for the last kind of 30 minutes, so yeah, all action. Third place, winning two second year in a row, the Jaguar is at Gordon Shannon and Chris Ward. That's the most glamorous race in the world now.